Okay, so here's how you can use the Corsair utility engine to make an auto run button for any game. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to need to have two G keys or two programmable macro keys available. So I already have these, so I'm just going to clear these two keys right here. And then what you want to do is open the software, find the two keys that you don't mind using for this, assign them a new action, and we're going to call this auto run start. Then we're going to record W shift. There we go. So now it knows that we need to auto run or we need to press W and then shift. Then we need to clear the delay because we don't want any delay between this and we need to remove the release otherwise it would just auto run and release it right away. So we're going to delete the the release and now the only thing we have in here is press key W and press key left shift. So now we are going to need a button for it to stop. So we're going to say auto run stop. And then we're going to record again. You can also go into options here and just remove the tick in record delays. Then we press W and shift. Now we're going to stop it. Remove the press keys. So we only have the release key left shift and release key W left. And then we press OK. It doesn't matter that it says it doesn't match. It's because it doesn't have anything to stop it with. But we do now because we have two separate keys for this. So when I press G1 right now, it's going to start auto running. Now I can't press G1 one more time and it would stop. I need to press the G2 key that we programmed it to stop with. So that's basically it. A little bit more information is the reason you need to do it this way is because the uh, the actions here, as you can see, the macros were not made for this kind of stuff. So the on-off toggle works a bit differently. And in the keystrokes, if we were to make it through the keystrokes like this, on-off toggle, it for some reason wants us to have a delay which we don't want to have. So it would press shift plus W with a one millisecond delay and there's no reason for that then it would start and start and start and start. That's it. So basically this is the way that I found and it works perfectly for me but if you don't have two G keys this might not help you. But uh, thanks for watching.